So you've completed your first mission and you're ready to move on to the second one, live wire terrain scan. This mission is actually the first one to offer a reward, which we'll be able to use later in the workshop. This one's pretty easy. You just have to get to three different locations and put down a scanner, activate it, and wait for it to finish. Of course, it's not quite as simple as that. You're gonna have to defend it while it goes through the upload process. When you first start, open up your map. You can see right next to the dropship the crate that you're going to need to go to in order to get your scanner. So double click on that icon so it shows up on your nav bar. If you watch the first mission guide, you know what comes next. Collect as many materials as you can, fiber, sticks, stones, and vegetables on your way to the supply pod. When you reach the pod, take the scanner out of it. It'll automatically socket into the G slot at the end of your toolbar, which acts as your backpack slot. Open up your map and we're gonna to go to the first scan point that's furthest southwest. You should have enough resources to craft a pickaxe at this point. You can also craft a bow and at least a few arrows. Next up will be the stone knife and the stone ax. Once you've killed an animal and skinned it, you should have enough bone to be able to craft a bone knife. A bone knife does more damage than a stone knife as well as increases the yield you get from animal materials. Another trick is, once you've taken all the materials out of an animal, it'll just leave the skeleton behind. If you take the knife and hit it a few times, you'll break the skeleton down and get even more bone. It's very useful because we're gonna wanna have a lot of bone to craft as many bone arrows as we can. Bone arrows do more damage than stone arrows. All right, you've reached the first scanning spot. Put the scanner down and press F to activate and then back away. If you stay far enough away, they'll just target the scanner. If you're a little too close, well, they might come to you. Kill them both, they're not too hard. If you can get them in the head, they die pretty quickly. Skin them, take the bones, reset the scanner, and then craft as many bone arrows as you can. This is good anyway, because you'll get experience for the crafting. Hold X to pick it up, and we're gonna head back north towards the dropship. If you've been moving along, you probably haven't needed to get any oxygen to begin with, but on your way back, make sure to get some oxide and put that in your suit's O2 slot. You also haven't had anything to drink, but we should be able to get back to that lake by the dropship before it's a problem. The second scanning point sits just above that cave that we used in the first mission as a home. So if you don't want to go through the process of building a home, you can use the cave again as shelter. Just watch out for cave worms. Once you've cleared them out, you can set up a campfire and a bedroll, set it as your spawn point, just in case things go wrong from here on out. We can also take the opportunity to cook any food that we've picked up along the way. Remember, vegetables cook faster, but we want it all. Food buffs are always helpful. If you haven't already collected wood, we're gonna need to do that. We're gonna create a hunting platform to help us with defending against the next couple animals. It's gonna require making eight posts, one floor, and one ramp. You could use a ladder to get up there too, but the ramp is just easier. So let's head up top and build that hunting platform. Now that that's set, let's place the scanner down and once again, press F to activate. The nice thing about building structures is that they can be destroyed very easily just by pressing Y. And destroy is not right. You press Y and you'll get the item back. Here come our friends. And this is why we built the platform. It'll take them a little while to get through the structure. So you can just stand up top, try and get the best position and aim for the head. And if you can't hit the head, well, keep firing anyway. All right, now that they're set, we can go and reactivate the scanner and then skin the bears for their resources and the extra experience. It's time to head to the last point. Once you've reached the last point, same process. However, this time we don't need to build a platform. We only built a platform for the bears because they can just wreck you. This time around it's wolves, so get your distance. They'll be attracted to the scanner so you can sit back and just take pot shots at them. And once that's done, you're all set. It's time to head back to the dropship. Now, we've gained levels throughout this process. And if you've been kind of working towards it, you can finish this mission at level 10, but we haven't used any of the tech points yet. It's mainly because there's not really anything that you need. So you might as well save your points until you reach level 10 and unlock tier two of the tech tree, at which point you can unlock the crafting bench and a bunch of technologies to make life easier.
with all these items that you've unlocked, you now have a lot that you can experiment with in the next mission. And remember, the next mission doesn't have to be a new mission. You could always go back to one of these first two, or even just a straight exploration mission, and spend time in the world learning what it is you need in order to build these things. Another bonus is we got paid for that mission. We actually have some currency that we can spend on items in the workshop. It takes a little bit of money to research things, and then usually about a quarter of that to be able to actually buy that item. And there are some pretty useful things in here. The canteen is one good thing to work towards. If you get that and you fill it up with water, it'll last you pretty much entire missions. There are better enviro suits, which offer more slots for food and water, as well as module upgrades. You can also get pickaxes or axes, and these are basically equivalent to iron tools. They can speed up the process early on. Once you've researched and crafted the item, go to the loadout screen and click and drag the item over to the dropship cargo. That'll ensure you have it with you on the next mission. Just remember, you want to make sure that those tools are in your inventory when you leave the planet. Otherwise, they'll be lost and you'll need to buy them again. Tools that are returned to the station will be fully repaired for the next mission. If you found this helpful and would like more guides on Icarus, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or any particular videos you'd like to see in the future, leave that down below. I also stream on Twitch at least four days a week, sometimes more. So uh, feel free to stop by there and say hello. I'll see you next time.